Welcome to this talk. I'm Peng Hui Li from Chinese University of Hong Kong. This is a joint work with my advisor Wei about detecting loose comparison bugs in PHP programs. PHP is widely used in web server-side programming. According to a recent study, around 17% of websites are written in PHP. PHP has many dynamic features, for example, loose comparison and type jungling. In PHP, when we try to compare two variables using loose comparison, the result produced can be very interesting, even intuitively unexpected. For example, when we loosely compare a string studied with 0, 0, 1 together to another integer 1, the result, however, is true. This is because the left string operand at runtime is implicitly converted into the integer type using only its prefix part. Straight comparison, on the other hand, will not apply such runtime type and value conversion, thus they will not produce unexpected comparison result. To better understand the prevalence of loose comparison, we conduct an empirical study on the top 1,000 PHP projects on GitHub, and we find that over 76% of the projects are currently using loose comparisons. Loose comparisons are normal PHP language features that are provided along with PHP interpreters. However, they can bring severe security risk. We name such security problems as loose comparison bugs. Here is a simplified real-world CVE about a loose comparison bug. This is a shows the password validation process in a PHP program. The code in line 3 fetches the real password from the database. And in line 6, the application validates the user-provided password by comparing the MD5 hash value to the password from the database. Know that the password in the database has been previously hashed before storing to the database. Suppose a user sees a password of such a string, an attacker can bypass the authentication in line 6 even without the correct credential by exploiting the loose comparison box. For example, another password studied with PJ something can bypass the authentication as well. The reason why this is possible is that the hash values of these two password strings all form a similar format of the scientific notation. They start with a prefix 0e along with other extra digits. So at runtime, they are actually evaluated into their numeric forms, which are zeros. The loose comparison operator i line 6 can implicitly convert the two hash values into zeros. Therefore, the authentication can be easily bypassed. To better understand the loose comparison bugs, we conduct an empirical study of existing loose comparison bugs in the CVE database. We find that over 19% of the CVEs are authentication bypass vulnerabilities. Besides, over 18% of the CVEs are exploiting the magic hash strings in the format of the zero scientific notation strings. We also find that the loose comparison bugs can cause security consequences. We classify them into the following three categories. So first, the privilege escalation, where underprivileged users can obtain a higher privilege, like the authentication by passbacks in the previous slides. And second, by passing certain loose comparison checks, attackers can inject malicious content into the target web application or the database. And the loose comparison bug can lead to the execution of unexpected program paths. Therefore, the correctness of the program logic can be violated. With the empirical understanding, we summarize the characteristics of loose comparison bugs and formalize the definition. First, as a loose comparison, the operand values of the loose comparison operators should be user controllable. Therefore, the attacker can utilize them for further exploitation. And second, the implicit conversion should be in several possible operand types. For example, according to the specification of PHP, the com comparison among only strings or between Boolean values can produce such implicit type conversions. And third, the loose comparison result should be incorrect or inconsistent, like in the example. The two string um, passwords might intuitively not equal to each other, where the result shows they are. This is inconsistent and uh, unexpected. 
So in this work, we aim to detect root comparison bugs. There are many possible ways in PHP to trick the interpreter for inconsistent comparison results, and we mainly focus on three types. First, scientific notation strings, including the zero scientific notation strings in the previous example. And second, numeric strings where the operands start with numeric content and are eventually evaluated as numbers instead of strings during the loose comparison. For example, an, a numeric string of 0, 0 0.1 can be compared with the flow number 0 0.1. It can produce an inconsistent result of two. Third, numeric prefix strings. Different from the second class, the string in the third class only has a prefix in the numeric form, but at runtime, the prefix is kept and evaluated as numbers. Similarly, the example can return true. Note that, to the best of knowledge, there exists no prior work that particularly defines and studies those comparison bugs. PHP John, a work published in 2017, discussed using their code property graph to detect zero scientific notation strings, which are just a subset of our first case. To detect loose comparison bugs, we face several challenges. First, as a language feature, loose comparisons are common, but only a few are bugs. A tool to detect loose comparison bugs should be able to filter out these normal loose comparison cases. And second, loose comparison bugs are context sensitive. Given benign inputs, they do not show any vulnerable behaviors. A tool should be able to identify the context that can lead to the loose comparison bugs. And third, PHP as a dynamic language is weakly and dynamic typed. The analysis, especially about the type inference, is not trivial. To this end, we propose L checker to detect loose comparison bugs. Uh, we use a tent analysis to check the first condition of the user controllable operands, and we use a type inference algorithm to infer the variable types to check the second condition of the op concerned operand types. Uh, we use a context sensitive interprocedural analysis to handle the context sensitivity features of loose comparison bugs. And in the last, uh, we have a dynamic validation step to check the third condition of inconsistent comparison result at runtime. So, as the tent analysis, L checker performs a standard tent analysis. We see the untrusted data as a tent source, and uh, in the example on the right hand side, we mark the gate superglobal variables as the tent source, and we then tra treat all the loose comparison operators as sinks. We propagate the tent information from the tent sources to the sinks along with the data flow of the program. So in the example, we, the tent status is first propagated from the superglobal to the variable A in line 2, and then at line 3, the tent is propagated to the argument in the function A, and then at the, the sink at line 9 is tended and thus reported. We will further introduce how we handle this into procedural analysis later. As PHP variables do not require the declaration or definition before use, their values and types are, not, are only initialized at the assignments. Therefore, we perform a type inference to infer the variable types. First, we infer the types based on the scalars and operands, as their types can be literally known. For example, the types of integer 1 and the string can be directly obtained. The result value of the concatenation is also known as string. Second, we infer the types related to the building functions based on their official documents. For example, the function substring must enforce the first arguments and the return value in the string type. We also propagate type information along with the data flow. Like in the assignment, the variable x gets the type of the right-hand side operand. We perform an interprocedural analysis. So the problem in the interprocedural analysis is that the status of the chorus, like the tenor status or the type information, can impact the detection in the code. E. For example, the code in line three causes a loose comparison bug where line five does not. Since our tenor analysis and type type inference are all based on the propagation over the data flow, we add a placeholder as the parameter status during the analysis to solve the problem. So we record the status of the sinks operands and construct them into the function summaries. Uh, we replace the placeholder with exact information at the core size. For example, when we construct the function summary for f, we collect the status of the variable x at 99 
and therefore when we analyze at length 3 and 5, we can replace the placeholder with the information of the arguments. Therefore, we can identify that 93 is a bug while 95 is not. Uh, we still employ a dynamic analysis to validate the bugs reported in the static analysis. Uh, in particular, we check the condition 3 by monitor execution of the program inside the PHP interpreter and we report this inconsistent comparison result. Note that since the static analysis has already felt it, uh, most of irrelevant paths, the manual analysis to plan on the dynamic validation to construct test cases is very limited. Next, we thoroughly evaluate our system in a large data set. In particular, we cover over 38k PHP source files and over 7 million lines of PHP code. We include the 19 PHP applications in their latest versions in September 2020. We also additionally include seven applications with no loose comparison bugs as the ground truth to evaluate the effectiveness of our system. Now we present our bug detection result in a table. Generally, we identify 49k loose comparison cases in the 26 PHP applications, and we find that uh, 958 loose comparison cases in the title analysis and 185 loose comparison cases in the type inference. So the result shows that all systems from the title analysis and type inference can filter out most of the normal loose comparison cases. And finally, 50 loose comparison bugs are confirmed and 9 new CVE IDs are assigned. In terms of the evaluation in the ground truth dataset, we find that we do not have any false negatives. And uh, interestingly, we even find two new bugs in an uh, older version of the application, and these two bugs have been fixed our, after our reports. We further compare our tool to PHP John, which discussed to detect zero scientific hardship bugs. Uh, note that um, PHP John is only equipped with time to analysis. So the results show that PHP John reports uh, 715 loose comparison bugs and only 13 in them are real loose comparison bugs. This means our system can outperform PHP John with more confirmed bugs and fewer false reports. Now we show a case study about the loose comparison bug in PHPML, which is a machine learning library with a lot of building classifiers. Uh, we use PHP ML to create the decision stamp classifier with a simple data set of four samples. In particular, four data values 1, 2, 5, and 6 with the corresponding labels 0E2 and 0E1. Uh, after the training, we test the, tra the testing data of 5.5, which is in the middle of 5 and 6. So intuitively, the 5.5 shall be predicted with the second label as it's closer to 5 or 6 instead of 1 or 2. However, we find that a loose comparison bug can cause it to predict wrongly to the first label. This violates the correctness of the machine learning module from the programming language perspective. When we dig to the source code to find the root cause, we find that during the training process, the model always calls the calculate error rate function to measure the dissimilarity of the preliminary classifier result on the training and the label. So in this way, the label uh, is first predicted at line 12, and when such uncautious labels are used, the loose comparison bug in line 14 can mislead the classifier to always predict the first label this demonstrates that the loose comparison bugs can violate the program behaviors even in the machine learning libraries. In summary, in this work, we, start, we define and study a new thread on the web loose comparison bugs, and we propose an effective and scalable detection approach to detect loose comparison bugs. And then with our system, we successfully identified 42 previously unknown loose comparison bugs, and we obtained 9 new CV IDs. And we will make our system be publicly available on GitHub. Thanks for watching the video.